well come back <laughs> we are here to talk 49ers and handsome jimmy g oh jimmy we put out a video a while ago is it too soon to crown jimmy g and apparently it was not it was not it was after one game i'll answer that question and i will say it's not we got on it ahead of time that video blew up by the way it did so obviously niners come in kyle shanahan second year jimmy g half a year Niners wide receiver situation as it stands currently Pierre Garçon at 124 Pierre how do you guys feel about that I mean that's a quick in where are you at I mean that's that's still lore uh, he's, I've never he's, really liked Pierre I've never I mean, really, I've always been disrespecting Pierre over there I have not yeah huh? love Pierre yeah huh? I st- I've I've I like Pierre just fine. I think that's. I mean, he's thirty-one, going on thirty-two. He ain't getting no younger. I don't think. I don't think I want to give him a twelfth round startup pick. I, I'll let him slide a little bit lower than that, or either not have him for a year. I. It's not. I mean, it's not going to kill me to not have Garcon on my team for a year or two. All right. I. I, w- I w- here played with with Hoyer and Bathard last mm. year. <laughs> Beat hard. Went down week eight. Didn't finish the game, but prior to that, had five double-digit games, one with 20-plus points in there, uh, two games under double digits. Week two against Seattle, 5.6. Week four against Arizona, 7.6. So two division rivals there. Right. I think you're going to bounce back with Jimmy G, and I think in the 12th round, I think you could get a Crabtree kind of guy right here in the 12th round as just going to be reliable as shit. I mean, he was reliable as shit with whoever playing quarterback right. now you're going to get a guy with an awesome release and a guy who understands how to play this game with a good quarterback no doubt i think you can get a, a nice piece right here who who could drastically you know steady your the bottom end of your team up week out week in week out yeah so i i completely agree uh garcon had 67 targets in the eight games that he played no drops solid uh mm, nice nice crack pop for pierre um, <laughs> once Jimmy got in there, I, I did. The, I looked the numbers up. A uh, bunch of completions, twenty or more in every game that Jimmy was out there. Um, granted, small five game sample size, but I mean, should only go up from there. I feel like um, Pierre's on contract for six and a half million dollars, guaranteed this year. So he's coming back. So he's going to be there, and they're paying him, and I assume they're going to scheme him the ball some. Just like he was getting it without Jimmy in there. Well, I mean, I agree with everything Casey just said. I'm just talking about a startup in 12th round. And, my, and then to double down on that, I agree with what he said about who was throwing in the ball. Hoyer was throwing in the ball. And and then CJ Bethard comes in there throwing in the ball. So it wasn't going to be good no matter what. But with, he showed, Garcon showed you how awesome he is with those kind of numbers the first half of the season. Um, so you're in then. I, I I can be in. I can and, and and I can definitely take a guy in the twelfth round who I could probably feel good about starting most of the season as long as he's healthy. I, yeah, I don't you, get that. So you took Chris Godwin at eighty one. Sure. You need someone to play in case. Uh, I did it's a tell you I'd put there. you in a minivan and put you in a four door. You know, get you it was a, a Volvo, a five star rating. <laughs> you know, or like, a Subaru, preferably. Right. I, five I've, star safety rating. I th- four wheel th- drive. With All Jimmy wheel. G in there All playing quarterback, maybe maybe he is a five star safety rating. I mean, <laughs> maybe huh? you know, maybe Garcon in the twelve Subaru of, is is the Subaru you got handed down from your parents it still runs safe really as well. Be. That's Japanese NASA motor in there. That thing will run for two hundred k easy. You just change the oil ever. You don't even have to change it. Re- regularly you just have to kind of maintain it exactly it's quantity over quality with oil you just got to make sure you stay up to that field right. line you don't want to run it run it low <laughs> you don't want to run it low that's when things start <laughs> to go bad 